Oh, fish on, yes, yes. They want the belly hoo. That's a big mutton. Oh, that's a really big mutton. Hey, am I in the sun? Yep. Should I stand over here? Hold on. You get over there. Tell me what to do. There, yeah, yeah, does that look better? Yeah. Woo! All right, we're jumping right into it. We're all the way out here on the Key Largo patch reefs. And what are we going to fish for today, Caitlin? Mutton snapper. Mutton snapper! <laughs> it's uh, early December, or no, it's, yeah, it's early December, mid-November. The mutton snapper come up onto the patch reefs. I think the spawn or something, but they want to be up here in shallow water. We're in 30 feet of water. And now is a great time to catch these shallow shallow patch reef mutton snapper and they're gonna be big i hope fingers crossed we catch one <laughs> we don't get a bite all day right oh, I got our, our yeah it is a little late in the day it's already 3 p.m so we don't have much time i didn't film earlier but i did film a uh, shark swimming by when i was getting the boat ready Just a casual shark swimming by while I get the boat ready to go fishing. Just cruising away. See him, babe? Oh, yeah. Oh, he disappeared. I oh, wait. That was a bonnethead shark. And we also saw a couple guys drive by with a pretty cool RC looking boat. That thing was pretty badass. I didn't get video of it going fast, but maybe one day I will. <laughs> and right now, what we did. We put a chum bag out. We're in 30 feet of water. Got the chum bag out, making a chum slick. Hopefully we get ballyhoo because the muttons seem to just really want the ballyhoo. And, oh, there's already a ballyhoo. Okay, it's a good day. And uh, look what I got. Dun, dun, dun. That's right, you're gonna get to see me throw this net. I actually did throw it earlier at some pilchards that were swimming. I threw it all right, I threw the net, it opened up. But I didn't get any pilchards because they were swimming so fast. Um, but we're gonna get some belly hoop for sure. Let me show you the rigs. First of all, we got two light action rods, 12 pound Power Pro, 20 pound fluorocarbon, and then our new South Florida Fish Channel Yellowtail hooks, which have just been absolutely destroying it. Get yourself some on rwboutdoors.com. Get yourself some. And this is what we caught all the mun snapper with on the last video. This is a knocker rig. We also sell these and Upon your guys' request, we used to put all three rigs into one pack and they would get all tangled. I'm really sorry all you guys that pulled big tangles out, but we now individually wrap them. Customer feedback and execution. <laughs> We're just going to wait for some ballyhoo to show up. And we also have some threadfin herring, some frozen ones, gratitudes of Dan. Captain Dan left these, so we'll throw these down, but... They look, they look kind of juicy, but not like a fresh belly hoo. So let's start fishing. There we go, thread fin herring on the knocker rig. One and a half ounce knocker rig. Drop it on down. Just drop it on down to the bottom. Yeah, maybe like flick it out like three feet or something. Three feet, huh? Three feet, let's see you do it. How about three feet? Woo! Is that three feet? All right, yeah, that was good. Down it goes. Now remember, when we get a mutton, we gotta reel them in quick, cause there's a big old sharks around here. Yeah. Big scary sharks. All right, now put her on in the rod holder. Give it some slack and put it in the rod holder, and then, okay. or else you're picking the weight up. See, now the weight's off the ground, and it floated back to the side of the boat. Grab that yellow tail rod. Let me see that hook. All right. We each have a piece of herring. Here you go. Thank you. And here, come come to this side. Okay. Pretty much just send it straight down, maybe like over there a little bit. Keep feeding it line so it sinks. Come on, fish. Oh, oh you got one? And chunks are getting bit. Oh. Get ready to set the hook if they're smacking it. See, you see my thing sinking? Yep. Ding, ding. Keep feeding it line, because okay. you want them to swallow it, so you want your line to just start racing out. I'm going to throw mine over you. You got a good spot. Got them, buddy. Yeah, yeah, get them up. Ooh, you got a yellow tail. Hey, nice. Look at him. Put the tail in his mouth. 
All right, the yellowtail. And he's off to eat another bait another day. Oh, that's a decent yellowtail, right? Yeah, no. Uh, he's fat. That's a fat one. Oh, 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 oh. oh nice. Oh, he's a big belly boy. Big belly. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a big mutton. That's a big mutton. All right, get the net ready. Oh, that's a really big mutton. Oh, I got off. Oh, man. I think it could have been a mutton and then a shark grabbed it. Something. Whew. You got a fish on there? Well, I don't know. What's up? What is this? Well, I don't know. You tell me. Bottom or fish? Well, I don't know. Is that bottom? Oh, that kind of looks like a fish. Probably bottom. Here, let me see it. Well, it's definitely bottom, but I think a fish might have took you into the bottom. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Well, oh, it felt like it was coming off for a second. There's definitely a fish on here though. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, he got off. Oh yeah. I got something. Yellowtail. Yellowtail snapper. Betty. Oh. That's a yellowtail. The big muttons don't want the frozen hairy. We need fresh ballyhoo. There just so happens to be some. Okay, get ready. Get ready. Thank you. Thank you very much. You think I got any? Freaking hope so. Oh, I went right on top of them. They're being difficult today. Caught lots of grass though. Oh, they took off as soon as I moved. Where do you need one? I'm going for it. They're behind the engine, so I'm gonna throw over the engine like a superhero. <laughs> Oh, kind of worked. Yeah, I was gonna say it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Hi, Cal. Couple of ballyhoo. Nice work. Okay, now we got some real bait. Where's your rod at? All right, sending down a live ballyhoo on a knocker rig. Good luck, buddy. Oh, fish on, yes. Yes, they want the ballyhoo. No? Keep fighting them. Is he still on? It looks like there's still some kind of weight on there. Oh, look at that. There are sharks around here. Wow. Hold on, hold that up. My carcass. That is quite the carcass. Dang, I knew it. I knew it was a freaking sh shark. Well, Buddies. Well, there goes dinner. Oh, he's still twitching. His mouth is moving. I can't smell this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Los Santos. Los Santos. The shark are abundant. Wow. Let's okay. Don't twitch now. He doesn't even have Look a heart anymore. His heart. Look was... at that freaking mouth. 
job. Something's messing with it. There's so many sharks down there though. Come on, eat it, bud. Eat it. It's nibbling at it. Oh, if it's another triggerfish, he's gonna get whacked by that shark. It just takes one. Just takes one. One fish in a sunset would be uh, pretty good. Would be kind of fun to send a shark rod down. I think this shark swam to the right. Like it's bite on there. Oh, oh, something's grabbing mine. Yeah, I know. Come on, grab it, bud. Grab it. Eat it. I hope this fish knows when he gets hooked, he's got to come to the boat as fast as he can to survive the shark. All right, I got a video. Flick it as far as you can. Okay. Man, pressure's on now. All right. Pressure's on. Ready? Let's give it a good toss. Uh... Wow. It wasn't really far. It was more like speed. That was more speed than distance. My bad. That was good. That went pretty far. Now let it sink to the L bottom. Off in the distance, I see the Extreme Outdoors boat driving by. I was supposed to go fishing with them today, and I'll explain later why I didn't, but I couldn't help but wonder, what did they catch today? Well, that question's about to get answered because Joe gives me a call and has some news. You sound excited. Did you get a, did you get a little something? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, oh Jesus, oh jeez, wow, all right, I'll take some deep breaths. It sounds like Joe and the boys hooked up big time while I'm sitting here dealing with sharks holding my in my hand, can't catch I'm just kidding, I'm having a great time. We're gonna keep fishing, but we are gonna go over to Joe's house later in this episode and see what he caught, because apparently it was epic. Oh, I see Yellowtail eating it. I saw one eat it. Ah, I got him! Nice try, Yellowtail. Oh, ah, he got off. Eat it, eat it. Ah, yeah, sucker! I got him! Yellowtail. Boom. The question is, where's the big mutton snapper? <laughs> No, it it better be a mutton snapper. Come on, turn around. Please turn around. Please stop. Oh, well, there's just too many sharks out here. Those freaking sharks showed up. I'm back at the dock, cleaning the boat right now, flushing the engine, making her look pretty. Ah, these boat lights, these boat lights shining in my eyes. You know, we didn't catch any fish today. I mean, we caught some fish, but we don't, we don't got any fish to cook up. Luckily, you know, I gotta thank my boys over Extreme Outdoors. Joe, Extreme Outdoors, are you following them? Are you following them? They went out sword fishing today. I was going to join them, but my flight from Utah got in last night at like two in the morning. By the time I got home, I would have had to wake up at six in the morning. I just, I wasn't able to make that trip. And of course, hey, I'm not even gonna tell you what they caught. I'm about to jump on my bike. I'm gonna go over to Joe's house and I'm gonna show you what they caught and then we're gonna cook it up. But first I gotta finish cleaning this, uh, this exquisite creature. Mm. All right, I just rode my electric bike to Joe's house. My, it was out of battery, so I had to paddle manually. I also forgot a hat, so I'm super vulnerable. But let's go find out what they caught. Yeehaw! Oh, yeah! Michael! Hey Look who it is! Looks like y'all cooking up some, <laughs> some <laughs> fish. I think we're cooking up some fish, but what kind of fish do you think we're cooking up? Yeah. What up, Julio? How you doing, buddy? What up, what you good? Man? I'm doing great. What up, man? So Dude, you guys... Woo! You guys we killed you. it We today. missed you a lot. We missed you a lot. Where's the harpoon? Let's get the harpoon the ready. Harpoon. Right? Yeah. I got the harpoon ready. I go, I go. We lost one fish because we didn't have a harpoon guy. Oh. Dang it. We, didn't we? We lost the, big, the biggest <laughs> fish of the day because we didn't have the harpoon guy. You guys saw him? Yeah. Oh, we saw, yeah, we he saw. Ran into the boat. He circled three times and then dove down 100 feet, and we lost him at 100 feet. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, look at the new killer dock, too. Woo. Hope you're hungry. We're gonna, we're doing a cookout right now. Oh, yeah. Swordfish. Hope you take some home. 
Oh man, I, I haven't would, had whole swordfish in a while. I would love some. Yeah, man. What you got grilling up here? Well, we just finished serving up. And and can you guess why we're separated? Can you guess why we have a separate oh, side? Oh, let me guess. One was a pumpkin. Yes, sir. And the other was a normal swordfish. A clear cut pumpkin. Ooh. Like I think we should actually show the viewers the difference between a pumpkin and a yeah and a regular swordfish. Yeah. So now that they're cooked, you can't really tell which one's a pumpkin and which one is really? a regular I was sword. That you guys were uh, sort of out. Can, can we show? Can we show the the, the raw skin or the raw meat? To show the difference between the two? Mm -hmm. so look at this beauty. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's that get this right really here. Good. We know it's pumpkin. Ooh. I think over there, no? It's right here. Oh. Damn, look at this new dog. The killer dog. This thing is crazy. <laughs> it's <a> killer dog. <laughs> that is one heck of a craziness. This is the gray sword. That's your gray. Over here. And that's the pumpkin down there. Oh, yeah. Bring it, bring it over to the light. Okay, what's what and who's who? Oh, oh, there's a big difference there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. The pumpkin sword. That's the one that eats 95% of his diet is shrimp. Yeah, the shrimp. Turn. So it, it tastes four times even better than this. This is amazing. <laughs> so you will not find this in a restaurant, in a fish market, because the, the commercial fisherman who catches this is going to keep it for his house and his family. <laughs> so you guys are welcome to at least enjoy us enjoying it so you can enjoy yourself. Pumpkin on this side? Oh, gray on this side. Oh, nice. Oh. Wait, which one? That's the pumpkin. That's pumpkin. Okay, let's do it. Once this. they're cooked, they almost look the same. They almost yeah. look the same. That's why I kept them segregated mm -hmm. so that we can know. <laughs> the taste test. Boy. Segregated. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we don't want to mix the. We don't want to mix the pumpkin. No, of course. Rib rib piece. No, I, no, no, I think it's only piece. fitting if you do it. <sighs> okay, then I will. Let's eat, Mike. I will. Look at this. Look at this big, juicy. Yeah, this is pumpkin. This is my first taste of my whole life of pumpkin sorbet. What seasonings do we put on these? So we use complete seasoning from Badia oh and God. Everglades Heat. Yeah, it's good. Oh my God. Is that the regular? Or That's the, the pumpkin. pumpkin man. Oh, my. oh man. I go. Yeah. I got the uh, I got the scallop. Oh yeah. <laughs> Holy mackerel! All right, no, pumpkin swordfish. <laughs> oh yeah. What we got? Regular right. pumpkin. Oh, that's, that's good. Right here. Oh, that's really good. That's a regular. Uh huh. Mm, my God. That's what this I'm talking is about. Fresh, never frozen. Fresh, never frozen. Damn. <laughs> First time in my life, fresh, never frozen. Now, now I want the gray. I don't even need to catch fish as long as I. <laughs> yeah. As long as you guys catch fish <laughs> <Yeah>. for me. <laughs> okay, that one's more rich. But this is also amazing. Mm, yeah. <laughs> two different flavors. Oh yeah, let me try one of these. Yeah, two they're, both, they're both very delicious. They're mm -hmm. both amazing. All right, this is the non-pumpkin. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really good. They're like good in their own ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're del both no, both mm. delicious. Delicious fish. Yeah. I'm coming with you. Joe invited all of us to go and eat upstairs with his family, which felt a little weird because we were just five dirty fishermen getting funneled into his clean house like a bunch of sardines. Bunch of, we're a bunch of prawns coming in like, Yay! Come on in. Find something to run away. Give it up for Extreme Outdoors. Are you following them yet? Because when they hit 25,000 followers, we're gonna be doing something crazy together. Check it out. They gave me one of the sword tails. They gave me two bags of swordfish meat. Wait, that's the smaller bag. They gave me a big bag. Where's the big bag? We got that sword meat. Unfortunately, I just got back home and my filter exploded. When I got home, this was running water. Look, if I turn the water on, So that had been that had been running for a while, so the entire downstairs of my house is flooded. Look at this. <laughs> it's been about a week since the flooding, and I have cleaned up downstairs like all day, every day, five hours a day cleaning up down here. 
check it out it's 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 coming together got the couch the tv watch youtube videos hang with the boys do projects on here my workbench is completely cleared off things are looking good i want to give a big warning to anybody if you have a frizz life water filter extreme warning L look what happened to this filter The bottom of it just blew out and then the water just shoots out of it until you turn your water off. If that happened in a house, you'd probably have tens of thousands of dollars of water damage. Luckily, this is downstairs in the man cave. This house is built for flooding. It's meant for hurricanes. You see these things in the wall? These are uh, flow hatches, so if it ever floods down here, the water can escape through those. All my stuff got wet but at least they gave me a good reason to spend the next week cleaning up down here. And now I got a pretty cool place again. Things are looking pretty good. If you wanna watch the video on Extreme Outdoors catching those swordfish, I'm gonna link it in the video description below. It was pretty epic. I think they hooked into six swordfish on one trip. I mean, completely epic. Of course, the one time I don't go, just my luck, but it's okay. I'm glad that they got them. I got some of the meat. Julio and Michael, they're just like, the swordfish slayers and they're just bringing all this sword fishing knowledge to us that I desperately needed. They also have a YouTube channel, Slippery Beast Fishing Channel. I'll link them too in the description below. If you want to watch some serious sword fishing, Captain Dan from Florida Fishing Couple was also on that sword fishing trip. All the boys were there. Where was I? I was in the the air flying in an airplane from Utah. I am gonna go right back to editing cause I'm on a roll putting these videos out and I got a lot of content. So I'll see you guys very soon again. Cheers.